You hear that? You know what that sound is? That's the sound of a party knocking. Because today we're looking at the Blonde BL Mini. Let's get into it. What's cracking audio fans? It's David here from Prime Audio Reviews. Now, as you probably know, this is a follow up from the hugely successful Blonde BL03 that came out a couple of years ago, being one of the best top budget earphones for, for since it came out, basically. Huge amount of fan, fans around the world. It's an incredible earphone. It is a bit finicky when it comes to fit and comfort, but once you get past that, it turns out to be awesome. So without any further ado, let's get right onto the Mini. And this is it here. It's been affectionately dubbed as the Macaroni by fans, and you can obviously see why that is. Now they do look rather awkward, but I've got to tell you, they are very, very comfortable. These have excellent ergonomics, great design, but they don't look really funny in your ears. They only look funny when you have them sort of laid out like this. But uh, zinc alloy shells, really good build quality, a little bit of heft, but they're still fairly lightweight. So really strong, very simple design. Inside is a six millimeter driver, so you could call it a micro driver. Before we get onto the sound, let's have a real quick look at this cable here. And it's a nice silver plated cable. It's got this smooth PU or TPU sheath on it. Uh, it handles really nicely. It's basically exactly the same as the cable that came with the Moondrop SSR and the Moondrop SSP, but obviously the connectors are slightly different. But apart from that, it's just a simple cable, it's really good, it handles well, it feels good, it looks nice, and that is the cable. So let's get onto the sound now, and how does the BL Mini sound? Well, I gotta tell you, Blot has done it again, boys and girls. They have created another excellent sounding earphone. In terms of tonality, it's slightly more V-shaped than the BL03. It has a boosted low end, boosted treble, slightly recessed mid-range, so you get a mild V-shaped sound signature. But in terms of technicalities and just the overall tonal balance, it is another really good earphone. So let's break it down and I'll start with the bass. Now there is a little bit more bass than the BL03. It's, I wouldn't call it a bass head IM, but it definitely is boosted north and neutral. It definitely does have a fair bit of bass emphasis. The uh, sub bass and the mid bass are fairly linear though. Probably I would say there is a little bit more of a focus on the sub bass here. So you do get that, that elevated low end, but you know what? It is a good quality bass. It is not boomy. It's the, the bass has got some great texture to it, some really nice definition. It has a slightly blunted leading edge on bass notes. So kick drums have got that nice weighty impact to them, but the decay is very fast. It's very controlled. There's no looseness in the bass. And um, for the most part, you know, it's just sort of a healthy boost. It's not, it's not a massive bass, but it is kind of large and um, suitable for all kinds of music, especially your pop and your hip hop. It's good for jazz. Uh, maybe not so much for classical, although it does that all right as well. It is a pretty versatile all-rounder. But um, So the bass is good. And now in terms of the mid-range, you know, the mid-range, as I said, is just slightly recessed. Well, in, in comparison to the BL03, it is just slightly recessed. What that does, it makes the bass feel bigger. It makes the treble feel bigger. Uh, the mid-range resolution on these, just like the previous model, is excellent. You do hear a lot of detail in the music. You do have good instrument separation. You hear all the elements in, in songs. Um, maybe it deteriorates a little bit on bass heavy, sort of hectic bass heavy tracks. That resolution deteriorates a little bit, but it's overall it is still very good, especially considering, and I forgot to mention it again, the price of the BL Mini here is $26. So it's well in that budget segment. 
And back to the mid range, you know, male and vo male and female vocals both sound really good on this. I would say neither male or females are, are given a preference in terms of the sound. They both have a nice neutral weight. The the mid range in general is fairly neutral. It, it's not it's not fat. It's not too lean. It's just got a nice uh, nice note size throughout. No real emphasis on any particular part. Well, there is a little bit of a, obviously a, an upper mid-range lift, which is just your pin again, which almost everything has, uh, where the BL03 here peaked at around two kilohertz. This one peaks a little bit further down the line at about three kilohertz. And, um, but it's still got good vocal presence. You know, the clarity is good. Articulation is really good. The timbre of instruments and vocals is, is all is all well laid out. You might have a hard time believing this is a $26 earphone because it just, the technicalities, it just does things well. It does things better than a sort of bass elevated V-shaped IEM should in this price range. But let's go on to the treble now. And uh, in terms of the treble, it does have more energy than the BL03, probably in part due to that mid-range being slightly pulled back a little bit further, which in, in turn brings the treble forward. There is a slight dip in the lower treble after that upper mid-range peak, and then it comes back at sort of seven, six to seven kilohertz, which provides clarity, definition, a bit more presence, and, and it is a, well-defined kind of crisp treble. I wouldn't call it a sparkly treble. The, the upper treble is, I wouldn't call it rolled off. Uh, it is fairly smooth. It is not as elevated as the lower treble, but it, the extension is quite good. I would say the extension is actually a little bit better than the BL03 here. But again, that's probably due to the mid-range just taking a little step back and letting the treble and the bass come forward more. But there's, every now and then there is just a tiny hint of sibilance. Uh, it's not really sibilance, but it sort of sometimes gets up to that line, but it never actually crosses that line. So it's not really, there's no harshness. It's not a brittle treble. While it's not a warm and rounded treble, at the same time it is quite detailed the detail retrieval is good it's quite detailed it's got a bit of airiness to it not really sparkly but plenty plenty uh, of energy up there and overall the tonal balance is just really good and in fact everything is pretty good about it is it a giant killer no it is not I wouldn't say that but I would say it's definitely one of the best contenders um, definitely under under thirty dollars. I would say, you know, up to maybe fifty, sixty dollars. This will contend with anything. Some people might even say it goes up to a hundred dollar sort of quality audio quality wise. And I wouldn't really argue with that. I mean, it just depends on your personal preference. If you're looking, if you're someone who is looking for more of a, an audiophile sound, which is sort of very mature and very lean and very tidy, then this isn't it. This is this has a more sort of a fun tuning. It's got that meaty low end. It's got that kick to it. It'll get your foot tapping. It won't make you say, oh, did you hear that uh, nuance in the background? It's not that kind of earphone. It's tuned for fun, but it is technically proficient. And I definitely would recommend this. In fact, this will be going on my best IEMs list. There's a link to the written review in the description and you, you can able, you'll be able to find my best IEM list from the links on the website if you're interested. But this one gets my recommendation. That about sums it up for this video. I won't do any more comparisons because I've already kind of compared it with the BL03. But overall, the Blonde BL Mini Another another super smash hit from Blonde. Great opoti for you to pick this up at a great price. And uh, yeah, that about sums it up, guys. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, Parfam audio file style. And if you're new to the channel and want to see more reviews like this in the future, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And until next time, I'll see you later.